Hey guys and welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. If you're new here, you're very welcome. My name's Laura and recently I've been getting some questions from students asking about the platform Medify and what it offers, what the subscriptions are like and how to use it best if preparing for UCAT with it. So I thought I'd make a quick video on the ways to use Medify if that's something you wish to do and some of the top tips when choosing a subscription and a plan to follow and the things that it offers just to give you a bit more of an insight into what the platform Medify is all about. So as you know from a lot of my other videos, I didn't use any form of subscriptions or plans when applying to medicine. And I have discussed that all in another video about the best free resources to use when applying to med school that helped me get through the application process. And Medify was one of these. So there is the option with Medify to use the free things that are on their website from their resources and materials. Medify also offers a paid subscription to all of their resources and materials online and they have a huge question bank and resources available to make use of with the subscription. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what the subscription is, what Medify is really like and just some hints and tips if you choose to use this as your aid when preparing and revising for the UCAT. So depending on the stage of the application process that you're at at the minute, you may only be starting and just trying to find out a little bit of information about the application process, or you may be already booked your UCAT or BMAT and are looking for advice and tips on how to do well in these and prepare and revise for them. So if you are in the position where you are either choosing to prepare for the UCAT or the BMAT or potentially both, I'll just discuss a couple of different ways that you might want to consider using Medify. So if you are new to Medify and not really sure what it's about, here is a quick look at what is on offer from their website and sort of plans and subscriptions that are available. If you would like to find out more information, do check the description down below where I'll put the link in for Medify and different parts of the website that you might find useful and have more information for you to look at. So Medify offers a range of different subscriptions ranging from one week, which is like a cramming session, all the way through to a full season pass. And they range from around £35 all the way through to £150. They're quite flexible and you can sort of choose which ones suit you best. Maybe you've booked your UCAT in a couple of weeks time and are just wanting to brush up on some of your skills. Or maybe you've got a couple of months to prepare for UCAT and you really want to make the most out of the platform and use all of the content and resources that it has available. With any of the subscriptions that you'll pay for with Medify, you have access then to around 50 hours of video tutorials, which can be really useful if you're a visual learner and want to see how things are done rather than just read about them, which can be quite boring and laborious. So they offer the visuals and videos that you can then watch and get a better understanding of how to answer the questions for UCAT and also what the process is sort of all about. Along with the video resources, you also get over 10,000 questions to be able to answer and use to prepare for the UCAT. 
This is really important. And as I've said in other videos, the key to success is using online resources to prepare for the UCAT. So having 10,000 plus questions is an amazing way to really hone your skills, find where your strengths and weaknesses are and improve and boost your scores and confidence. With the subscription to a Medify pass with the UCAT in mind, you also have the opportunity to make use of their mini mocks, which are like quizzes and tests for the UCAT, as well as mock exams, which is a great way of really understanding what the UCAT feels like and how it will feel like on the actual day that you sit it. If instead you are choosing to sit the BMAT for your university application, then you also have the opportunity to purchase this as a subscription and that's a one-off fee of £40 and you can make use of a lot of questions and advice and frequently asked questions get answers as well, which is great if you're preparing for the BMAT. So as I've mentioned already, I didn't make use of paid subscriptions to things whenever I was applying to medicine, purely because I didn't really know what I was paying for and how to best make use of the subscription. So hopefully by watching this video, you'll get a better understanding of what's to offer from a subscription and if it's something that you might find useful and also ways that you can use it effectively to make the most out of the money you spend. So whether you are applying to medicine or dentistry, you will probably have to sit the UCAT or the BMAT. And I'll talk in more detail about the UCAT because that's the exam I sat. And here are some tips that I wish I had been told before I started the process of applying to UCAT. So some of the benefits to buying a subscription to something like Medify is that all of the questions and materials are all in one location. You don't have to spend a long time searching the web for snippets of information and you can use it any time of the day. Because it's able to be accessed at any time of the day from any location, it's really useful to be able to use to around your study to prepare for the UCAT on top of things like A-levels or other exams that you might be sitting. You can take some time out of your day and just do a couple of questions here and there and it really does benefit you having it all in one location to use rather than having to try and find resources on top of answering the questions themselves. Another benefit to something like Medify is that you have access to so many questions for the UCAT. The UCAT is all online, so it is really important to get used to the online format and style of the questions. And by using an online resource like Medify, you do get used to this quite quickly and can understand the real types of questions to look out for. Another thing I found when looking on the website for Medify is that there's a great flexibility with the plans and subscriptions available, which for me personally is a really important part of using a subscription. You don't want to be spending money unnecessarily. And if your UCAT is only in a couple of weeks, there's no point spending huge amounts of money for a plan that you're only going to use for a maximum of a couple of weeks. Whenever I was doing the application process, I was very reluctant to spend money that I didn't really know what I was getting out of it. But now having looked at the plans and subscriptions available, I would say that they're quite reasonably priced as well as the flexibility. You can choose to use a longer subscription if you want or a short one just to help top up what you've already done and prepared for. So whenever I was having a look around the Medify website for this video, I actually stumbled across a performance feedback tracker and it's an amazing way of being able to keep on top of what you've done, which I personally found difficult whenever I was doing 
all of the stuff for free because there was not really any way that I was able to track my performance and find areas that I was struggling with and be able to improve on as well as find areas that I was actually doing okay in and didn't need to spend any more time on. So I must say having the option and opportunity to track your performance and see areas that you need to improve on or areas that you're actually doing okay in would definitely be a real highlight for using a platform like Medify. Not having the ability to track your performance is not a make or break with the UCAT. I managed to do it okay, but it would be quite nice to be able to look very quickly at things and not have to spend a long time worrying about areas that you might not have covered yet or question types that you haven't discovered. So having the opportunity to track your performance is definitely a huge benefit if you wish to use something like Medify. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I really don't recommend using a book to prepare for the UCAT, purely because I tried at the start whenever I was doing it, and it was nothing like the format that you need to get used to if you want to do well in the UCAT. Therefore, another great thing about Medify is that it is all online, so you really do get used to the style of the format that you'll have to use when you go into the UCAT, and it means that you can boost your confidence and just get very familiar with the setting. I like the fact that you can also use the mocks to give you a better understanding of how the timing and all of the features work on the UCAT. It's really handy to be able to know how you perform for a two hour mock session rather than realise on the day of the exam and not really be very happy with your performance. Another great thing about using an online subscription to something is that you're able to use the calculator and really get used to how to input all the data, use all the functions and also how to get it up onto the screen. All of these things are really vital if you want to do well in the quantitative and decision making sections of the UCAT and it can be quite tricky to get used to at the start. It is totally different from using a normal calculator and does take time to get used to so I would recommend even if you're not wanting to spend money on a subscription go and check out how to use the calculator using the actual calculator from the UCAT on their website. Whenever I realised that the UCAT was all sat online and the calculator was online too, it kind of gave me a bit of a shock to know how different the calculator is from a normal calculator. And I have done a video all about the UCAT calculator and how to use it well. So if you are struggling or want more advice on how to use the UCAT calculator and all of its shortcuts and top tips on it, do check out my UCAT calculator video. I think for me personally, the major benefit of using a Medify subscription or a subscription to any online UCAT help is that you've got everything available to you 24-7. You also can get a lot of questions, but you also are using it all online so you can get to used to the keyboard shortcuts and how to do these effectively, which I personally didn't get used to in time and ended up using the mouse in the UCAT, which really is a waste of time. And in my opinion, if I could change it, I would. So I did make a full video on this earlier. So check it out if you're struggling with knowing which shortcuts to use. But using something like Medify with a full size keyboard will really, really help improve your confidence and ability to use a keyboard shortcut in the UCAT. So overall, as you can see, there are a lot of benefits with using Medify. However, it does come at a cost and I am aware that for me personally, I didn't want to spend the money on it. However, looking back, it's not really a huge fee when you realise how much you get out of it and how much time and effort you save as well. So from my experience of going through the whole medical application process and securing all my offers for the medical schools, I would say that it is not impossible to do it all for free. However, it is lovely to have a helping hand if that's something you wish to pay for. And in hindsight, it probably would have made things just a little bit easier and taken some of the pressure and stress away from preparing for the UCAS. 
I know a lot of my friends have made use of things like Medify and found it to be very helpful and useful. So if it's something you're interested in, go ahead and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from any experience that you've had with platforms like this and do drop a comment down below. So I hope you found this video useful and it's given you a couple of different things to think about that might help you with your UCAT or any other part of the application process to medical school. Please go give this a like down below if you found some of this helpful and useful. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my new content and videos that I'll be making to help you with your application process to a medical school. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.